What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update uh, on LCID stock. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, gone live it up. And uh, on today's video, guys, I uh, will show you where we are on a price chart and how we get there. I have to say that I haven't done uh, any uh, reviews of uh, this uh, company for quite a long period of time. I will explain you why I stopped to do it. On top of that, uh, I will explain you what signs uh, do I see uh, and what conclusions uh, I can do because of this sign. On top of that, guys, uh, I will show you some financial information that you should be aware of uh, and I will show you where you can find it. And at the end of this video, I will share my technical analysis and I will explain you what should we expect next in the medium and long term perspective. So guys, I haven't made uh, any uh, updates uh, on uh, Lucid Motors for quite a long period of time. The latest uh, data, the latest update uh, was made by me somewhere at the very uh, beginning of August, somewhere at this point, and right here, I told you that uh, we are forming some kind of descending triangle, and if uh, this asset breaks about $6.12 mark range of support, uh, we will have our for quite a long period of time uh, in uh, lower price points. And it happened, we were hovering below six doors for, uh, let me show you, for more than a year, for almost a year. And it lost uh, during these days uh, about 53%. So guys, definitely it is in downtrend. And uh, if you take a look, uh, let's switch to daily time frame, turn off all the tools. Uh, from uh, the period uh, of major hype of Lucid Motors, uh, from its, uh, uh, let's start from this point, uh, it is not the highest one, but it is, uh, it was the, the initial spike uh, of their Spark merger. And uh, here is uh, the announcement and basically the first deliveries, if I remember it correct, uh, first couple of vehicles were delivered uh, in November of 2021. From this point, from uh, about $58, uh, this asset uh, lost uh, more than 95% of its value within just uh, 930 days. So in less than three years, we have this quite substantial movement to the downside. But at the same time, guys, this company has a very deep pockets. Uh, they have about uh, $5 billion uh, cash on hands. And you can find this number uh, right here in their uh, presentation first quarter 2024 earnings uh, presentation they have 5.03 billion dollars cash on hands on top of that uh, if you take a look right here if you can on more financials uh, on uh, uh, the trading of you uh, website you can see that uh, uh, their revenue is pretty much flat and uh, it is another not the best sign of uh, their uh, position on top of that, guys, uh, I stopped uh, to do any updates on Lucid because I saw a problem of uh, the demand for their vehicles. If you take a look right here, uh, it is uh, the Bear w Bears Workshop uh, uh, YouTube channel. And uh, for a long period of time, uh, this person uh, was doing uh, a flyover uh, on uh, the Lucid Motors factory. And here you can see a lot of vehicles that uh, were stored uh, about 10 months ago on their parking lots. And guys, take a look right here. I opened uh, several uh, earnings uh, presentations from uh, the very last one, first quarter of uh, uh, this uh, year. And uh, they uh, produced uh, 1.7 thousand vehicles and they delivered 1.9 thousand vehicles. Previous quarter, they produced 2.3, almost uh, 2.4 thousand vehicles, and they delivered uh, 1.7 thousand vehicles. Q3 produced uh, 1.5, delivered 1.4. Q2 of uh, last year produced uh, 2.1, uh, delivered 1.4. Q1 of last year produced 2.3, delivered uh, 1.4. So, guys, as you can see, for more than a year, they have... Uh, a lot of problems with your production. They cannot uh, improve uh, these numbers. From uh, the first quarter of this year till present day, we have a decrease uh, in number of vehicles uh, produced and uh, let's uh, put it this way, slight increase uh, in their deliveries. But in general, all these numbers show that uh, 
uh, it doesn't uh, have uh, a lot of uh, momentum on the market. But everything might change uh, when they uh, ramp up uh, their deliveries uh, to the Middle East. And we know that uh, all of their money is from PIF uh, of Saudi Arabia. It is a public investment fund of Saudi Arabia. And as you can see, this number, total liquidity, is quite uh, impressive. In Q1 of uh, last year, they had uh, $4.1 billion uh, cash on hand. Next one. Uh, Q2 of last year, $6.25 billion. Q3 of uh, last year, $5.45. Q4, $4.78 billion. And uh, Q1 of this year, $5.03 billion. So, guys, on the one hand, uh, this shows that uh, this company has a very deep pocket. But on the other hand, uh, I have to say that uh, all the improvements uh, of these numbers are made because of the delusional processes. And uh, definitely it is not the best uh, sign for the uh, investors uh, into this company, but uh, definitely in the long-term perspective, uh, with some uh, exceptions, this company might worth much more than currently worth. Let me show you that for now, their total market cap uh, is $6.3 billion. And in general, I have to say that this quite substantial movement to the downside, uh, if you uh, connect uh, some crucial points of uh, this movement, you can see that for, uh, from the very beginning, from this top, uh, they have quite steep movement to the downside. The next level is not so steep. And for now, we have uh, almost a uh, horizontal line uh, with the latest price action. Uh, let's take a look uh, in details on this uh, price action. And let me show you that for now, from the very beginning of uh, this year, except this uh, quite substantial decrease in its price, uh, we have uh, pretty much uh, sideways movement. Uh, it uh, hit uh, this uh, lowest point on uh, uh, January 19th and uh, it broke it right here. And I have to say that uh, this uh, level, this uh, sideways price action, uh, leads uh, to the conclusion that potentially we might uh, have a next lag to the upside. But definitely, guys, it will not happen uh, uh, within just a blink of an eye. It will not happen within the next uh, one or two months. I don't think so. But these levels uh, might be quite lucrative uh, for the long-term holders, especially if you uh, keep in mind that they still have a lot of uh, money to operate and they are about to launch uh, their next uh, model, uh, uh, lucid gravity to the mass production and uh, it might be uh, very beneficial for them uh, and uh, for their deliveries and uh, the main uh, downside uh, of uh, this company that uh, it cannot ramp up their production rate that is why guys uh, this company is extremely risky it is one of the riskiest uh, investment uh, in the ev uh, sector right now but uh, you have uh, to keep in mind uh, their financial position and uh, this is the, the only upside that i can see with this company i know that a lot of uh, retail investors bought a lot of uh, lcid stocks and i have to say that uh, we still have uh, a lot of uh, chances uh, to uh, see this company private and uh, it might be bought back uh, by the uh, public investment fund of Saudi Arabia and uh, here you can see that uh, uh, at this uh, moment uh, in uh, January of uh, 2023 we had these rumors uh, which uh, leads uh, to quite a substantial spike in its price for more than 113 percent in just uh, overnight uh, uh, in just a couple of sessions and uh, definitely if it happens uh, if it ever happens it will be a major upside uh, for the existing shareholders. Uh, but uh, the main uh, goal for this company is to increase uh, their production rates. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack,